I bought over 500 things on Amazon in 2022. Yeah, I know, that's a lot of things. In my defense, a very good chunk of those is directly related to my work and things that I bought directly related to work as somebody who creates a lot of videos about Amazon. But it also means that I have tried a lot of things from Amazon and today I've dwindled it down to the top 25 things. Let's do this. Number one is this mini vacuum. This is a vacuum I keep in the valet drawer of our kitchen. It's super tiny. You're not going to be vacuuming up like the floor with it, but I use it for like all of my little hard to reach spots. So inside of cabinets, inside of drawers, when I'm cleaning out the drawer where I keep my kids snacks, when I'm cleaning out my pantry, it's just a really great little item to have for all those crumbs that accumulate in drawers and in cabinets. Product number two is this universal automatic pump. It essentially can um, attach onto like all sorts of different dispensers whether it's soap or hand sanitizer and it allows it to be hands-free so we installed this this summer for our dish soap in our kitchen and we absolutely love it even my husband commented on how much better it is it's really nice to be hands-free when you are washing dishes you're not constantly having to push on it and make it messy and like drip water all over you always get the same little amount of soap every time and it's really great for washing your hands too to be able to be hands-free when you're in the kitchen just grab some soap wash your hands and you're not getting everything all dirty number three is is this uh, makeup brush cleaner. This stuff literally blew my mind the first time I use it. I don't know what magic is in it. You just take any beauty sponge or beauty brush, you dip the tiniest bit into a bowl with some of this liquid and the makeup just like melts off. And then you literally just have to dry it clean. You don't even have to rinse it. Literally have repurchased it probably four or five times this year because it's just so good. Next up is this boho floral dress. I purchased this at the very beginning of the year and I pretty much wore it a bajillion times. It's insanely comfortable, insanely versatile. I also think it's really, really pretty. I use it for some of my family photos. I liked it so much. I feel like you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It was probably one of my most worn pieces of clothing all year long. Number five is the outdoor umbrella that we bought for our patio. This thing is really cool because it rotates around 360 degrees so on our patio we can sort of move it to with the sun depending on where the sun is on our patio and it also tilts like up and down to give you just like a full range of motion we've been really really happy with this I feel like for the quality you're getting in the general price point compared to other similar umbrellas it's really really good number six is our acrylic utensil organizer I bought this after our kitchen renovation to organize our utensils and I know it's sort of like a random thing to love so much but I have used a lot of utensil organizers in my life. I've lived in like seven or eight different rentals. I've had a lot of different random kitchens and utensil organizers and I love this one the most. I just think the clear acrylic looks really really nice. This one's expandable meaning you can stretch it to fit the width of any drawer that you have and I just really love this utensil organizer. Speaking of acrylic organizers is my egg organizer. This is something I bought just because I thought it would look cute. I was like, it would be cute to have my eggs organized in a clear carton instead of a cardboard one. I have just found this like so much better for egg storage. I love that I can store more than a dozen eggs in here. And I think most of all is I can always really quickly see how many eggs we have. So I would over buy eggs all of the time. Like I would come home with a carton and then realize I had two cartons that were each at least a half full. Or I would do the complete opposite, see a carton, think I had eggs, go to open it, there was only an egg in there. I'm full on board with the decanting of eggs into an acrylic organizer. Number eight is the Dr. Scholl Sheena wedge. I'm usually not a big like heels person. I'm already tall, I'm 5'9", and I also like, I spend my days just like making YouTube videos and watching my one and four year old. So and I'm not really a fashionista, but I got these, I tried them on, they were so freaking comfortable, so easy to put on, and I loved how it would just slightly dress up an outfit without making me feel like I was wearing something dressy. What I loved about them, because I'm somebody who does not like to own a lot of shoes or clothing in general, like if I'm not going to use it a lot, I don't want it in my closet. These were so versatile. They looked adorable with dresses. They look adorable with skinny jeans. You could even like dress them up with a pair of leggings. I just really loved these shoes. Next up is these canned glasses. I've actually repurchased them now so that we have um, like a larger set to keep in our kitchen. I love the way that these look. I also just find them to be like the perfect size. They're not too tall. They're not too short. And I don't really have anything else to say about them except that I just think they're really nice 
glasses. Number 10 is my roll out drying rack. This rolls out and lays on top of my sink. I love this because it allows me to have a spot to dry dishes while I'm washing them without taking up space on my counter. Everything can just drip dry, dry right down into the sink. But when it's not in use, I can like fold it in half or roll it up so it doesn't take up a lot of space or just roll it all the way up and store it underneath the sink. I especially like this because I'm not somebody who needs a drying rack every single day. It's just like maybe if I cooked a big dinner or I'm like washing a bunch of stuff or doing a lot of cooking or whatever, I can just take it out when I need it and store it away when I don't. Number 11 was one of my hands down top sellers from Amazon this year and it is my um, oil spritzer. And I love it because you can fill it with your favorite oil. Now this came about originally when I bought an air fryer. Lots of times when you're doing things with air frying, you need a little bit of oil on the thing to cook it. And personally, I really only like to cook with olive oil. I don't love to use like lots of the other oils that come in the sprays. So this allows me to use my favorite olive oil in a sprayer and I can spray it onto whatever I'm cooking and pop it into the air fryer. But even though I bought this specifically for the air fryer, I now use it all the times for everything else. Like if I'm roasting a bunch of veggies, instead of having to like pour the olive oil on and like mix them all up, I can just do a quick spray on top of the veggies or on top of the meat before I throw it in the oven. I'll do a few quick little sprays inside of my pan before I saute something. I use this thing all of the time. Number 12 is laundry hampers. It's actually a two in one because it's actually two laundry hampers. I've shared both of these before like multiple times, but the first one is my over the door laundry hamper or like back of the door. We keep this on the back of the door in our kitchen and it's so great to just like throw in dish towels, throw in like my kids clothes got dirty while they're eating. I can throw it in there. It's just like for any place that maybe you might want a laundry basket, but you don't necessarily have room for a full laundry basket. It can go hanging up on a wall or on a door. And what's really easy is when you're ready to wash it, you can just take it right off the hooks, carry it right down to the washing machine. It has a zipper on the bottom, so you can literally unzip it. Everything falls into the washing machine and then you just hang it back up. And then the second one is our freestanding laundry hampers. Um, this is like a random thing. I feel like I've used so many different laundry hampers in my life. And I've gone through all seasons from like living in a tiny apartment where I had to take all my clothes to like the laundry room to living in a house that had no washing machine and I had to go to the laundromat to having houses where the laundry machine is on the main floor to where we live now where we have to lug our laundry down to the basement. I've had a lot of laundry situations and this is hands down my favorite. It's sort of this like fabric material but it's lined with this like waterproof plastic material, whatever kind, so it makes it really clean. It's super, super lightweight, so you're not add adding any extra weight if you need to carry your laundry to different locations. And it's got really great, like, long handles. I feel like that is a problem with a lot of laundry hampers if you're somebody who has to lug laundry, is you have these, like, little tiny handles or these, like, hard plastic handles and you're trying to carry the laundry basket. Number 13 is the Bissell Little Green. I think it's called Little Green Cleaner or Little Bissell Green Cleaner or whatever. I have a Bissell carpet cleaner that I absolutely adore door but it's huge and so we have to store it in our basement because we don't have room on the main living floor of our house so when I have bigger projects certainly I will pull it out but I found that lots of times when there were little spills I don't want to go all the way downstairs and lug this huge carpet cleaner up for this thing is small enough that we can keep it right in the kitchen and I can pull it out for all those little messes and I absolutely love it we use this thing all the time great for all the tiny little spills number 14 is a tennis dress I think I have some photos of this because I'm not about to try to get in it right now 20 two weeks pregnant. I feel like the tennis dress trend has been cool for like, I don't know, a year or two now. I'm always a little behind on, on the trends, but I finally decided it was time to try one and I get the hype. I immediately got the hype. I bought this in a couple of colors. It's insanely comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing pajamas. It's just like a dress with shorts built right into it. The shorts have pockets. So you have places to put your stuff, which is so great. I just find them like very comfortable and flattering and like a great everyday dress for the summertime. Number 15 is my kitchen scale. This essentially just allows me obviously to like weigh stuff by ounces or by grams or whatever. And I find it really, really helpful with like any basic baking that I am doing. Personally, when I cook, like when I'm cooking dinner, I'm not like a big recipe follower. I'm just like a little of this, a little of that, that'll be good. But when it comes to baking, it's more like science and you need to be a little more precise to get the outcome that you want. I use this kitchen scale basically for all of my baking, all of my breads, all of like my cookies and pastries and like whatever that kind of stuff is. Anyways, it's just one of those random things that I didn't have and now that I have it, I find all sorts of uses for it in the kitchen. Number 16 is a pair of snow pants. I know this is kind of random. I don't think I had bought like a pant, snow pants in my adult life in a while. So we live in Connecticut. We obviously get winter. 
Um, I've lived in New England my entire life. We used to live in Maine and I used to always say I wanted to move somewhere that was warm. Like I always thought that I didn't want to live somewhere when I was cold, where it was cold. But at some point in the last few years, I learned that it's really not the cold that bothers me. It's just that like I never properly dressed for the cold. You know, the thing about is like when it gets really, really hot out, you can't do anything about that. Like if it's just too hot, you just can't go outside. But if it's cold, like you can always just put on more proper layers and still get outside. And so I've been like learning things to add to my wardrobe that I can wear to keep me warmer that doesn't make being out in the cold is miserable. Especially with small children who want to go out, they want to play in the snow, a pair of snow pants is pretty important. And on that topic, my favorite winter gloves that I have found recently are these North Face ones. They're not super, super heavy duty like snowboarding gloves. They're like great everyday gloves for like going outside, driving in the car, being with the kids outside. Um, they have the smart touch on the fingers so you can still use your phone, which is really nice. And it's actually like good smart tech because I've used a lot of gloves that say they have smart tech in the finger and you're like swiping and swiping. It's not working. Um, it's a very reliable one. Number 18 is the Paula Choice. It's like a liquid exfoliant essentially. This is a BHA exfoliant, which has salicylic acid that unclogs pores as well as BHA, which sheds built up layers of skin. It essentially is just like a liquid. It looks like a toner. So it's really quick. It's easy. You just like wipe it on your face at night, follow it up with a moisturizer. And I find when I use it consistently, it really helps with any dry patches or dry skin. It's definitely my favorite, just like daily exfoliant. Number 19 is um, the ELA products, specifically the ELA, uh, why can't I think of the name of the word? It's like the liquid skin tint or whatever. This stuff is basically a three in one. It is a serum. So you can literally put it right on your bare face without like having to put on a bunch of other skincare. It's got SPF in it and it's tinted. I find that I can wear this in lieu of foundation and it gives me enough coverage. I pretty much have been wearing this every single day since I discovered it in like the spring and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And on the topic of Ela, I also really love their under eye concealer, the translucent powder, as well as their like everyday stick or all around stick or all purpose stick or or whatever. I use it mostly as a cream blush. Number 12 are these Amazon Essential Fleece Joggers. I bought two colors of these. I did size up in them because these are joggers that I just wanted for like lounging. I wanted them to be comfy. You could buy your true size and they would fit totally fine, but if you want them more as like a loose, really comfy fit, not for like going out, but more for staying in, you could size up as well too. I think these are just a really great like basic fleece jogger for every day for an amazing price point. Number 21 are these uh, slippers. So I actually discovered these slippers because at my children's new school, they needed like indoor shoes um, that they wear in the classroom. And so they like change into the shoes when they go into the classroom. Anyways, I was buying them these shoes that the school suggested and realized they had adult versions. And so I bought some and I really love them. They are just great like house shoes to wear around the house because they're really lightweight. I find they don't make my feet too hot. They have rubber soles so I can go outside in them if I need to like run out to the trash or whatever. Um, and I've actually bought two of them and my mom has now bought them and they're just like a really great basic indoor slipper, house shoe slipper. Number 22 is this electric lighter. Uh, I bought an electric lighter for the first time this year and I just, I love it. I've like gotten rid of all of our other lighters. There's something very satisfying about lighting with electricity. I also love that you can just recharge it. Number 23, along with the oil mister, may be one of my top sellers from Amazon this year. I don't, between those two, they're competing for the top spot, but it is a microderm emit. Now, I discovered Microdermamit a couple of years ago um, and I just remain obsessed with them. I have since tried a lot of cheaper versions, knockoff versions, other exfoliating mitts. None of them do what Microdermamit does. Microdermamit is worth spending the little bit of extra money. Um, so essentially what it is, is it's like a glove that you put over your hand. The, the fabric has like a slight grit to it. There's a one for the body, which is slightly higher grit, one for the face, which is slightly less. So when you're in the shower, you like step out of the stream of water and you just buff it all over your skin. And I'm telling you the dead skin just like comes off. It's like slightly disgusting, but mostly just really, really satisfying. And unlike other like exfoliant scrubs, it's not messy. You don't have to be like scrubbing it all over and rinsing it off. It's easy, it's quick, and it does an amazing job. Number 24 is this pajama set. It comes in sets of two. You can buy all sorts of millions of different colors. They're just insanely comfortable. This year I've been on this like quest to find just like the perfect cozy, comfy pajamas. And, um, you know, I'm 5'9". I'm not like super tall, but I'm not short. And lots of times pajamas are way too short. The, like the top is a crop top. These just 
fit perfect. They're like, they're not too short, they're not too long, they just fit really nice. I did size up to mediums um, because again, like I'm sleeping in them, I want them to be really comfortable. They're definitely more of like a lightweight material. And finally, are my tissue box covers. Um, these are just like faux leather covers that fit over tissue boxes. You know, it's winter, I got kids, like there's runny noses all the time. Um, but tissue boxes are never pretty. They try to put designs on them, but the designs never look nice in your home. So this just gives them a nice little cover to make them plain, to make them match in with your home. Just sort of like this random product that um, we absolutely love. And now I have, I think three or four of them for all the different places in the house that we keep tissues. All right, my friends, that does it. The 25 best products that I bought on Amazon. And as we know, I bought a lot of them. <laughs> as always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.